Good afternoon, it's Shara Inspires speaking to you from Nairobi, Kenya. My videos target men, as you know. I'm a mother to three sons and a daughter. Of course, I keep wondering which women will they date? Which girls will they eventually marry when they get to the age of marriage? And this bothers me and I believe there are many parents out there who feel the same and others wondering when will our sons meet the right girl? So, gentlemen, let us discuss men, parents out there, let me get your feedback, let me get your views. So men, you have a lot of insecurities, admit that. You find that if you're in a relationship whereby you are controlling, you are a dictator, it's either what you say or nothing else, it's either you or the highway, it's either your road or no other road. You find that you control where the woman goes, who, which friends she keeps, how she dresses, some are like that. Some of men are like that. There are others also who are very good outside their homes. They are normally very understanding, caring, such that you find that if you're his girlfriend or the wife, people think you're the crazy one. They even, for example, you go with him to a party and he will, you know, commend you and say, wow, my pretty wife, hello everybody. Meet my pretty wife. But when you go home, he doesn't see your prettiness. He doesn't uplift you. He only says this so that he can get some votes from people. If you find him discussing about, you know, how women are being, you know, they're in trouble with men. Oh, he's the loudest to say, how can that man do that? You're not supposed to batter women. Women are supposed to be protected. And he fights for this and speaks very aggressively. Ha <laughs> ha. To your surprise, your girlfriend, your wife cannot say that about you. It's like you have two, multi two personalities or multiple personalities. Men, you are insecure to this extent and the ladies are scared. This may have come from where you were born, how you were brought up. There are some guys who are brought up with parents who call them animal names. So you find that when you're in a relationship, you actually behave like an animal. But remember, you have no excuse, really. If you can't find a role model in your dad, in your uncle, you can find a role model online. Google is a market. And anything you Google, you find. If you search for male motivational speakers and mentors, Akina Miles and Monroe, we have Benjamin Zulu, who's also local, and that is here in Kenya. We have many, and even we have, uh, we have Daniel Mgogo, a very great, you know, pastor from Tanzania. You can listen to some of these people and they're inspiring. So gentlemen, please, you are suffocating women in relationships. You find that you are in a relationship whereby life is about me, the man. Everything has to be perfect for you. One minute in your house, you don't eat rice. You don't eat uh, gideri, you don't eat chapati, you don't eat fried meat, you want boiled meat, you want white meat, you don't want red meat. It's so confusing. Wait until you go with your wife to a party or somebody else's house. Everything you say, you don't eat in your house, she sees you really enjoying it. This is very confusing. You are insecure as a man. And please remember that you need to log on to my YouTube channel. Go and watch my videos on Inner Healing 1, Inner Healing 2, and then go to Forgiveness. Because everything starts here. If you're not content from your heart, you can't give love, you can't shower love to a woman. So you find you men with insecurities, you are confused internally, and what you show externally is not the same. So you find that uh, you, you are unable to lead w women and children and we are looking up to you as the leaders. So even if you cannot lead women and children, how are you, what kind of manager are you? What kind of a supervisor? What kind of leader are you? It starts from home. So please, men, work on your insecurities. Then you will not be challenged by a woman because she's too beautiful, because she has, you know, she has maybe money, she's financially stable and you're not. That should not make you insecure because remember, you chose her. You didn't, you are not blind. You hadn't closed your eyes 
When you were choosing her, you saw all that. So why is it that when you get into the relationship, you find that the insecurities, they start speaking to you maybe at night. And some men, you know, they come at night and you find he's hiding his wallet. He's married. He hides his wallet, you know, uh, maybe under the mattress or in the wardrobe. He's totally confused because you find that he's, he, he's been used to other women. So the houses are different. You find the door is different. And as he's walking out, he walks into the wardrobe. Because now where he's sleeping in your house and you're supposed to be the first wife, he's confused. He doesn't know he's used to sleeping in lodgings. And, you know, characteristics like this make women wonder, where are these men going? So men, please, just work on your insecurities and you will not be challenged by any woman because women are looking for love. Compliment a woman. Many of you will not compliment a woman. You use negativity on her. You tell her, oh, you're ugly. Oh, you're too thin. Oh, you're too fat. Oh, no one else can love you if not me. But in actual fact, you are, you are actually covering up your own insecurities. You are the one who feels too not worthy. You know, you, you're the one who feels unworthy, but you change things around. But remember now times have changed. There's a lot, women are listening to a lot of videos. They are going for seminars. You can do the same too. So men, please, you have no excuse. These insecurities are turning relationships toxic. And this is why you find that we are having so many single ladies wondering, which guy will marry me? And men, you're also wondering, which women will you marry? So please, let me hear from you. Let me get your feedback and clouds of blessings. Asanteni.